Elon Musk shocked the world with a first experiment of implanting a Neuralink chip into the brain of a paralyzed person, promising to create a universal brain interface to restore autonomy for individuals not receiving adequate medical care today and to unleash human potential for tomorrow. Alongside Musk's ambitious promises, Neuralink also harbors inherent risks, as implanting chips into the human brain represents a bold move, sparking debates about ethics cybersecurity, and the future of humanity, especially when they're hacked. Is Neuralink truly the new dawn for humanity or a potential disaster waiting to happen? How can the Neuralink chip be hacked? Neuralink operates quite simply. The premise is that they will attach a series of tiny wires to the surface of your brain and connect those electrodes to a small computer chip implanted in your skull. This chip is as complex as an Apple Watch, and like a smartwatch, it'll connect to a more powerful computer such as a smartphone or laptop via Bluetooth and transmit data. However, this wireless Bluetooth connection presents certain vulnerabilities. Bluetooth devices are often hacked, a phenomenon known as blue bugging or blue jacking, where hackers use software on their devices to perform brute force pairing. The most secretive aspect so far is that the cyber criminals do not yet know which computer operating system the Neuralink chip uses, its specifications, or whether it can be updated. It hasn't been hacked under the condition of using uncommon software or having resistance to attacks. Why is this different? Some challenges for hackers include the fact that the chip is not connected to the internet, at least for now, which significantly reduces cybersecurity risks. It's also noted that cyber criminals need to know the operating system the Neuralink brain chip uses, which is not easy as it may not be common or well-known software, making it harder to hack. Moreover, this means it'll be much more difficult for those without internal specifications to figure out how to hack it. Furthermore, it's unclear whether the chip runs undaptable code, which is essential for most hacking attacks. Additionally, to interact with this chip, hackers will likely need to perform direct intervention with the person implanted with the chip. Finally, tampering with the chip without causing operational issues requires specific knowledge of how it works, information that we currently only vaguely understand. Most experts believe that the brain chip will eventually be hackable. Previous medical device hacks have shown that hackers can manipulate operations maliciously, endangering the life of the wearer, Grimes emphasized. Depending on the purpose of the brain chip, the consequences could be deadly. What would happen if Neuralink were hacked? Neuralink is developing a chip about the size of a coin, each wire approximately 20 times thinner than the human hair. These wires are equipped with 1,024 electrodes that can monitor brain activity and stimulate the brain electrically. Currently, these chips are only used for disabled individuals as this is the first version, similar to the first version of the iPhone. With each upgrade, the chip gets more advanced. Elon Musk, the world's richest man and CEO of Tesla, understands the importance of cybersecurity for Neuralink as the chip connects directly to the brain, the most vital part of the human body. When Elon Musk first announced the idea of Tesla's self-driving cars, people were worried about the possibility of Tesla's control system being hacked. However, eight years have passed since Tesla launched on the market, and we've never heard of anyone hacking a Tesla car, thanks to continuous cybersecurity checks by experts. Elon Musk takes Neuralink cybersecurity even more seriously than Tesla's because it directly involves the human brain. However, there is another issue with the Neuralink brain chip. If hackers can access our thoughts, people will hesitate to implant this chip. Moreover, the Neuralink brain chip will be very expensive, creating a disparity between those with brain chips and those without. Nevertheless, Neuralink technology is not entirely wrong. It's just a step in human development, and we can't ignore this advancement. Imagine what would happen if the Neuralink chip actually did get hacked. Does anyone remember the era of diet chips? Not potato chips, but an implantable chip that makes you feel full after only 30% of your stomach's capacity was filled. Well, that chip was an early model produced by the same company now putting chips in hands for security and identification. All these devices are wireless, making them easily hackable. If that chip could make someone feel full by altering their hormones, then guess what these devices could do? Another hacked chip, another wireless virus transmission. You get the picture? As for Neuralink, it promises to help humans control devices, access information, and communicate through thoughts, offering tremendous benefits for healthcare, education, and entertainment. 
According to a report by Markets and Markets, the brain machine interface market is projected to reach a value of $3.85 billion by 2027, highlighting the enormous economic potential of this technology. However, alongside these promises, Neuralink also poses significant risks, particularly regarding personal data security. It's shown that 42% of IoT devices, including connected medical devices, are vulnerable to cyber attacks. The Neuralink chip implanted in the user's brain collects and transmits information directly from thoughts, emotions, and memories. This is extremely sensitive data. If stolen, it could lead to severe consequences such as privacy violations, misuse of personal information, and behavioral manipulation. Hackers could use the data on thoughts, emotions, and memories to extort, impersonate, or even control users' actions. According to a McAfee report, attacks on medical devices increased by 55% from 2019 to 2020. This risk grows as Neuralink gathers more information about users' behavior, preferences, and habits. Analyzing this data could allow hackers to understand user psychology and behavior better, manipulating them into buying unnecessary products, engaging in dangerous activities, or even committing crimes. In fact, a study found that attacks on smart devices increased by 600% in 2020, highlighting the real threat of cyber attacks on connected devices, including Neuralink. During the 2020 Neuralink product presentation, when specifically asked about the device's security measures, DJ Sayo, head of chip design at Neuralink, emphasized that privacy and security are top priorities at Neuralink, particularly due to the sensitive nature of the data they collect. He stressed that all interactions with brain data would be encrypted and authenticated. Neuralink has the capability to work across all layers of the product, from chip design to source code, creating a unique opportunity to embed security into the design from the outset. He also noted that the initial deployment of Neuralink would be entirely as a medical device for a limited number of patients with disabilities, including those with full body paralysis due to injury or neurodegenerative diseases. There will be a very long product development cycle before these devices reach mainstream market acceptance, where healthy individuals could use Neuralink in their daily lives. However, this does not mean that the issue of medical device hacking is not a concern, as history has shown it to be a very real danger. In the worst case scenario, hackers could manipulate the Neuralink chip to influence a person's thoughts, emotions, and actions. This raises profound ethical concerns regarding free will and autonomy. Alternatively, hackers could induce behavioral changes by altering neural signals, potentially leading to unintended or dangerous behaviors, posing risks not only to the individual but also to others. Furthermore, we cannot overlook the significant health risks. If hackers could control the Neuralink chip, they could stimulate undesired brain regions, causing uncontrollable seizures. These seizures not only cause pain but also result in permanent brain damage. Initially, they may induce pain. Hackers could manipulate to stimulate brain regions associated with pain sensation, causing victims to endure unexplained and uncontrollable pain. For other neurological issues, misadjusting the Neuralink's chip activity could disrupt nervous system functions, leading to symptoms like imbalance, muscle weakness, or even paralysis. Psychological trauma from Neuralink hacking could lead to psychological disorders such as anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Victims may experience symptoms like nervousness, anxiety, difficulty concentrating, insomnia, irritability, even hallucinations and flashbacks of the hacking event. PTSD affects about 7% of the U.S. population in their lifetimes, and symptoms can be quite severe. Privacy of data is another ethical quandary. Mishandling user data in the past and violating commitments to protect user data have raised legitimate concerns about Elon Musk's Neuralink's ability to effectively safeguard sensitive data collected from clinical trial participants. The fact that Elon Musk is steadfastly advancing the brain-computer interface BCI project raises careful considerations of its implications for the privacy and personal freedom of clinical trial participants. This concern extends to the right to cognitive freedom, which has complex implications for an agency that shapes human identity, as defined by a bioethical philosopher. To address these complex challenges, ethicists have proposed a range of emerging rights, including cognitive freedom, mental privacy, mental integrity, and psychological community rights. In this context, safeguarding this particularly sensitive medical information plays a central role. Furthermore, there is uncertainty about how Musk's company, with ambitions beyond mere medical applications, 
will address these critical issues related to protecting patient-sensitive data. Ensuring that the company prioritizes the welfare of trial participants and limits their data exploitation for profit remains a top concern in this evolving landscape. Currently, there are no specific laws governing the use and security of brain-computer interfaces, BCIs like Neuralink. This leads to legal loopholes and difficulties in handling violations. Laws in different countries may have varying regulations on BCIs, leading to legal conflicts when using Neuralink internationally. Establishing common regulations and standards for BCIs requires close cooperation between nations to ensure global security and user protection. In the event of a Neuralink hack, determining legal responsibility can be highly complex. Neuralink could be held accountable if there are design flaws or security breaches in the Neuralink chip. Users could be liable if they fail to adhere to recommended security measures. Regulatory agencies could also be held accountable if they fail to enact adequate regulations and standards to protect users. The current legal system may not be suitable for addressing issues related to BCIs, leading to difficulties in handling lawsuits, not to mention the impact on the economy. According to IBM Security, the average cost of a data breach in 2021 was about $4.24 million. If Neuralink were hacked, the recovery costs could be equivalent or even higher depending on the severity of the attack and the number of affected devices. These costs include ransom payments to hackers, data and system restoration costs, as well as business losses due to downtime. Especially if hackers use ransomware to lock Neuralink devices, recovery costs could increase significantly, causing serious financial and security repercussions for both the company and the users. What methods does Neuralink employ to ensure their chips are secure from cyber attacks? Neuralink, the brain-machine interface founded by Elon Musk, opens the door to a promising future. However, alongside these promises, Neuralink also harbors many risks, especially regarding network security. To protect users and their data, a comprehensive security strategy should be implemented, including the following measures. Encrypt all data transmitted and stored within the Neuralink chip using strong algorithms like AES-256 to prevent unauthorized access. Consider implementing end-to-end -end encryption to ensure that only authorized users can decrypt the data, enhancing security and access control. Require multiple factors of authentication such as passwords, fingerprints, SMS, or email verification codes to ensure that only legitimate users can access the chip. Utilize advanced biometric authentication methods such as iris scanning, facial recognition to enhance security and minimize the risk of user impersonation. Monitor user activity and request additional authentication when detecting any suspicious behavior. Regularly update software and security patches to address detected security vulnerabilities promptly, minimizing the risk of exploitation. Update firmware for the Neuralink chip to improve performance and security features while ensuring compatibility with other software and devices. Update user databases and access rights to ensure accuracy and prevent unauthorized access. Monitoring and alerting are crucial when setting up real-time monitoring systems to track chip activity detecting any unusual behavior that may signal an attack. Use behavioral analysis techniques to identify patterns of abnormal access and detect subtle attack attempts. Promptly alert users when any suspicious activity is detected so they can take the necessary protective measures. Of course, don't forget access management. Implement an Identity and Access Management IAM system to control user access, ensuring that only authorized users can access and use the chip. Apply role-based access control, RBAC, to limit user access based on their roles and responsibilities, minimizing the risk of access misuse. Use strict access control measures, such as location-based access control, LBAC, to restrict chip access from unauthorized locations. Enhancing user awareness is also essential. Raise users' awareness of cybersecurity risks, how the Neuralink chip works, and protective measures so they can use the chip safely and responsibly. Provide detailed and easy-to-understand user guides on how to install, use, and secure the Neuralink chip. Provide professional customer support services to answer questions and assist users in resolving security issues. Companies developing BCI chips, research organizations, and governments need to share information about cybersecurity threats and protective measures to collectively enhance security for BCI devices. 
develop international standards and regulations on security for BCI devices to ensure safety and reliability for users worldwide. With this comprehensive security strategy, Neuralink can become a groundbreaking technology that brings significant benefits to humanity while still ensuring safety and protecting users' privacy. In the future, Elon Musk's commitment to enhancing the security of Neuralink is paramount. With advancements in technology and a dedication to innovation, Musk's vision for Neuralink is not only to revolutionize the way humans interact with the technology, but also to ensure the highest level of security and privacy for users. As Neuralink continues to evolve, Musk and his team will likely implement cutting-edge security measures, leveraging the latest advancements in encryption, authentication, and monitoring technologies. By staying ahead of potential threats and continuously improving security protocols, Neuralink can maintain its position as a leader in brain-machine interface technology while instilling confidence in users regarding the safety and privacy of their data. Musk's track record of prioritizing safety and security in his ventures combined with his ambitious goals for Neuralink suggests that he will spare no effort in making Neuralink the most secure brain-machine interface on the market. Through collaboration with experts in cybersecurity, adherence to stringent regulatory standards, and ongoing research and development, Neuralink will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible while ensuring the trust and confidence of its users. In the end, Elon Musk's vision for Neuralink extends far beyond just technological innovation. It encompasses a commitment to empowering humanity while safeguarding its most precious assets, our minds and privacy. With Musk at the helm, the future of Neuralink is poised to be one where security is not just a priority, but a fundamental cornerstone of its success. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join the Tesla Carwell community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.